Hi guys, my name is James and today I'm going to be speaking to you about the topic of moral panic. So what actually is moral panic and why did I choose it? I, I first came across this concept during week two of university. So I do what most people do these days and type in what is moral panic into Google and this is what came up. Moral panic is defined as a feeling of fear spread among a large number of people that some evil threatens the well-being of society. This definition emphasises that moral panic impacts not just one person or thing, but a substantial part of society. American sociologist Stanley Cohen, in his book Fault, Devils and Moral Panics, The Creation of Mods and Rockers, says moral panic is a condition, episode, person or group of persons emerges to become defined as a threat to societal values and interests. Cohen identifies that the role of moral panics is to strike fear into people, as in other consequences if this occurs or happens to be true. Through researching online and flicking through books, I've learned that moral panic is a growing threat to society. Now since I have a grasp of what is moral panic, I decided to go back to Cohen's book to gain further insights, as Cohen is often referred as a researcher who came up with the term moral panic. Cohen identifies five stages of moral panic. Someone, something or a group is defined as a threat to social norms or community interests. The media recognises threat. The portrayal of threat causes public concern. Response from authorities and policy makers. The moral panic over the issue results in social changes within the community. How the media portrays the moral panic shapes how the public perceives the issue. Hence, if it gains growing press, then the response from the authorities will be bigger. Moral panic appears quickly, though it disappears even quicker, given the reactions from the powers that be. People can use, create, or be moral panic. An example that I'll be talking about today uses and creates moral panic. He is the 45th President of the United States, Donald John Trump. Trump is a clear example of popular culture in our world today. Trump boldly, single-mindedly, and arguably successfully used the moral panic strategy to advance his ambitions for the public office. I chose Trump as my example, as he's always in the news, not just daily, though hourly, through his unique persona, as you never know what he's going to do or say next, which I find very, very interesting. One of the readings recommended to us was Eric Good and Ben Yehuda's The Moral Panic, The Social Construction of Deviance. When reading, I saw a link to Trump and how he used moral panic to advance himself throughout the election campaign. The book outlines a concept through concern making someone anxious or worried. Trump example, his promise to build a war along the southern border and make Mexico pay for that war. Hostility, hostile behavior, unfriendliness or opposition. Trump example, the whole fake news crusade against media outlets who is very hostile towards them. Consensus, a general agreement. Trump example, Trump claiming victory despite media consensus that Hillary Clinton won the first presidential debate. The only person he listens to is himself. Disproportion. An instance of being out of proportion with something else. Trump example. His candidacy was so unexpected, as he wasn't the regular lifelong politician. Voltality. Liability to change rapidly and unpredictably, especially for the worse. Trump example. Launching an immigration ban targeting Muslims. Ever since Trump announced his intention to run for president, he has created moral panic. Two great examples illustrate this. The Women's March protest against Trump shortly after his inauguration was when 4 million people walked the streets in Washington on January 21, 2017, making it the largest single-day protest in the history of the United States. Other countries such as England and Australia staged protests on this day as well to show support for women. Back in 2014, Trump said, America is going to hell because the NFL defended openly gay player Michael Sam. Overall, I hope you guys have grasped what moral panic is. It's real, it's dangerous, and it's relevant. Whenever we get nervous or we feel tense about something, that's moral panic. It's our minds telling ourselves that something isn't just right. That's it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it and got something out of it.